Now you see, that's an exorcist right there. That exorcist, yo, he's a real motherfucker. He actually gets shit done. Not like where some fucking exorcists have to keep taking little school exams and keep fucking dragging on their bullshit over like fucking chapter for chapter for chapter for fucking chapter. Yeah, if you don't know, I'm talking about Blue Exorcist, seriously, that series pisses me off sometimes, but goddamn, why do I fucking like it so much as well? So we get to see in this episode of Ushio Toro, we get to see straight up, like, what it basically is, like, the sort of the antagonist of this episode, and that is Hyo, who is an exorcist who actually traveled all the way from China because he wanted revenge after what happened to him and his family, and it's like, we got a very quick kind of backstory into it, and I feel like this is one of the biggest glaring issues in this episode. Don't get me wrong, I think the backstory and everything is really good, but... The entire episode, it really feels like this was supposed to be like, I don't even know, like two to three episodes. It felt like we were supposed to have like way more than the fight with like, especially with like Ushio at the start. Even Taurus fights felt like it got skimmed like bits, pieces here and there. And like, he has really cool abilities. Like you can see like he has like, he's really cool like human eyes. Like when he had like a child crying, he was just like, he fucking lost it. He just literally needed to kill these fucks. They wanted that Usha like stepping in and trying to stop this guy. And they would have fucking murdered those people. It's like, he's a bit unstable. But it's like, even shows how unstable the relationship between like Usha and Tora is at the moment. That Usha would be so much as a child to say like, Oh yeah, like I know where that demon is. Even though like it isn't even him. Like the demon that had to kill of, like his parents. Because he's, he's been locked down there for 500 years. How could he possibly even do that shit? And not to mention as well from the claw mark that we've seen from the entire episode that Ushio has had, like, you know, he has, like, four hand, like, he has four claws, like, right there, and the one that he has is a free claw mark, and I imagine that's something to do with, sort of, like, some of the characters you might see in the opening, maybe that's, like, something to do with it, I mean, I can already see from, like, what I've seen of already the character designs of certain characters and all that, I can definitely see that there's one certain, like, sort of group that's probably going to be responsible for that, but, you know, I won't say too much, because I know a lot of people don't, like, search into series like I do with uh, some of them, but, when we saw a lot of this episode, like, Usha was really acting up very childish when it came to this sort of stuff. And then, not to mention, fucking Bo was just straight out fighting, like, day and night with this guy. He was going straight balls in, and, like, what kind of person do that? Like, even regardless, like, as a human being yourself, Usha, like, yeah, you think he's a fucking dick, but even still, like, he didn't do that. You know he didn't do that. You just want it. You just want to get back at him because he keeps fucking trying to kill you, which well, is, well, fair, understandable, but even still, you know, like... There's just some exceptions. If you're gonna kill someone, at least I can do it yourself. Don't like say, "Oh, he's hurting me. Get, get, get big exorcist man, can you help me? You know, he's really hurting me. He's calling me names as well, and he keeps trying to stab me with my spear." Like, go on, man. Are you fucking serious? Like, that's the kind of shit that you pull out of fucking kindergarten or something like that. I mean, like I said, like I feel like episodes pacing was really just out there. Like, I mean. One bit, like, Ushio is, like, really upset with her, and then Nakamura comes in saying slaps some sense into him, and then just out of nowhere, he comes back, and just, like, he takes the kunais, and then they're already made up, like, uh, just, like, I feel like there's a lot of stuff missing out of there. I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm still enjoying the anime, but I am definitely noticing now the first three episodes didn't really feel like that, like, even the fourth one, two exceptions, where, like, they didn't really feel like the pacing was, like, you know, going, like, fucking light speed or something, but definitely with the show one, I am... I was a little bit curious about this one, like, what exactly, like, what's the pacing for this one, or is it just, like, the material one by far? So I'm just kind of curious, like, see what's going to happen later on in the series. But I enjoyed this episode, don't get me wrong, I thought it was a good one. I thought Hyo is a great addition to the cast, and I think he's, like, kind of that fucking cool badass that you see, like, every now and then in the series. So I definitely get like to get this episode, like I said, in the half. I thought it was a good episode, but it definitely had some issues with it. I did like, you know, that, you know, Tora, he's kind of, you know, growing a little bit more on Ushio right now. And the same thing with Ushio, like, the two are starting to understand each other. But that's all for me, so thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.